A French research ship has found more than 3,000 barrels of nuclear waste on the ocean floor. Some of them seem to be leaking, and they're now studying the situation further. Let's have a look. Nuclear waste in the ocean sounds shocking enough. Even more shocking is that dumping nuclear waste into the ocean was legal not so long ago under a convenient and widely used method to get rid of the stuff. Beginning shortly after the Second World War, many European companies from countries including the UK, the Netherlands, Belgium and Switzerland dumped over 200,000 barrels of radioactive waste into the Atlantic Ocean until the practice was outlawed in 1993. The barrels with the radioactive waste now sit at several kilometers depth and no one has any idea what's going on with them, which, come to think of it, also describes most theoretical physicists. This is why the French sent out a mission called NOTSUM for Nuclear Ocean Dump Site Survey Monitoring. It's a research ship that went out to the sea to the areas where the waste is believed to be. They set out to map an area of about 300 square kilometers to at least make a start at an inventory. The researchers on the ship use sonar to locate the barrels. You can see the barrels here in this sonar image as black dots. As you can see, they're aligned in stripes. These are almost certainly the routes along which the ships were going as they rolled the stuff overboard. The French research ship is also equipped with a diving robot that can go several kilometers deep down and has a camera to take 3D images. You see some of the photos it has taken here. According to some outlets, the French research organization CNRS, which is leading the mission, said they found around 3,350 barrels over an area of 163 square kilometers. They analyzed photos of about 50 of them and found that some of the barrels have leaked unknown material, probably the binding agent bitumen. My French isn't great but I think it translates to, yeah, that's probably not good. It means basically that the radioactive waste, if it's not leaking already, isn't far from leaking. But they haven't detected increased levels of radioactivity, at least not yet. They have taken samples of the water, ground and sea life and returned them to labs for further analysis. So for now, it's treating us barrels. Possibly leaking, possibly not, but definitely rusting. How alarming is this? We know that most of the waste in these barrels comes from laboratories or industrial applications, not from nuclear power plants. That means, for all we know, it's mostly mildly radioactive with a half-life of some hundred years, not the 10,000 years that people worry about for the highly radioactive waste from nuclear power plants. In other words, if we just wait a few centuries, it'll be fine. If you think that sounds irresponsible, wait until you hear about our climate policies. Still, that this stuff is potentially leaking onto the ocean floor is, well, not great. You'd expect any radioactive material to dilute very quickly in the water, though the details will depend on ocean currents. There's still a risk that some of it will end up accumulating in plants or animals and somehow make its way into the food chain. Can't we just, you know, get this stuff back out of the oceans? Yes, but that'd be very expensive and I think no one wants to do it. Also, if we bring it back up, people might notice, which, as we all know, is the worst possible outcome in politics. And also, then what do we do with it? So what can I say? On the one hand, nuclear waste on the bottom of the ocean is clearly bad optics for the nuclear industry. It'll be water on the mills of nuclear energy opponents. On the other hand, it's not of immediate concern. It is, however, a curious reminder of how unconcerned people were in the 1950s about environmental matters, so much so that they thought sinking barrels of nuclear waste to the bottom of the ocean was a good idea. Then again, who wouldn't like their tuna to glow in the dark? That's the science news for today, but before you go, I have a recommendation for how to stay well informed. 
it's really become difficult with each news outlet spinning their own story. But a great way to cut through all the noise is using Ground News, who have been sponsoring this video. Ground News collects and summarizes global news on the same story and analyzes how the story is being covered by different media outlets. For one thing, it saves me a lot of time because I don't need to swipe away the same story 10 times and they give me a quick summary. That's a super useful time saver already. But they also give you a lot of extra information that you don't find in the standard media. Take a look, for example, at this recent story about the just discovered baby star. You can see right away that this story basically hasn't been reported by right-leaning news outlets. I think this tells us a lot about information bubbles. It's not just about politics. Ground News also gives you a factuality rating, tells you whom the media outlets are owned by and where the news has appeared. Ground News also has this great feature called Blind Spot. This tells you which news has been almost exclusively covered only by one side of the political spectrum. I think that Ground News is onto something with their idea. This is what the future of news reading looks like. And of course, I have a special offer for you. That's a 40% discount on the Vantage plan, which gives you access to all their features. All you need to do is use my link ground.news slash Zabine or use the QR code. So go and check this out. Thanks for watching. See you tomorrow.